Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat in a day. I've never done this kind of a video before, so I'm very excited. Um, I typically eat almost the same thing every day, meat, but my meals are different, they vary. So I thought I'd give you guys a little glimpse into my world. Um, I'm going to be making a couple more of these videos, maybe every two weeks. I'll pop in a what I eat in a day video and you guys can hopefully get inspired. If you're new to this way of eating, I hope that you can get some ideas from these videos and that you can see that it's actually really simple to eat this way. It takes less time. It does require a bit of planning ahead, but that is what I love about it. It's all about perspective and how you see it. You can see it as a drag. Oh, I can't eat out anymore with my friends. Or you can see it like you're investing the time in yourself to nourish yourself and your family or your friends. So let's get started. Well, I don't really fast. Um, I try to eat when I'm hungry. I used to fast a lot at the beginning of this uh, carnivore diet, at the beginning of this way of life. <laughs> but now I don't really, you know, fast. I'm good at fasting. I can intermittent fast. And I think it's important to be able to do that. I don't eat right away. I kind of just listen to my body. So um, right now it's 11 o'clock. I want to kind of head outside after. So I'm going to eat something super nutritious and filling, but not too, too heavy. And that is some chicken soup with egg and shrimp. Don't judge my uh, plastic container. I'm working on refining my, my pots and my storage and all that but look at this jiggle jiggle i made this soup from chicken feet which is like so so cheap to buy guys just just uh reach out to your local farmers and ask them for chicken feet if if they have you're in luck because they're super cheap and nutritious so you get the stuff that nobody else wants um what i did was i slow cooked these chicken feet for like 24 hours in my slow cooker nothing else just chicken feet look at that it's unbelievable so much collagen in there so i'm going to transfer it to my pot over here and then i'll show you guys what i do with the shrimp and the egg so danny and i are going to be eating some soup together so i kind of just put the whole soup in here on low heat I've got my wild caught shrimp, which I'm gonna boil at the end in the soup. And then I've got three little eggs in here that I'm gonna crack on open, some pasture raised eggs. I'm gonna use the whole egg. If you're wondering how many meals I eat a day, it's typically about two with very little snacking in between. I find I'm pretty satiated throughout the day. I do prioritize getting a good amount of fat in my meals. So I think that keeps me full throughout the day. Um, do I snack? Sometimes. I think what I love most about this way of eating is that I'm so in tune with my body. So if I'm hungry, I'll eat. If I'm not, I won't. And it really is that simple. A lot of the time I hear that it's super hard to eat this way. And yes, it is hard, especially at the adjustment phase. But I don't really think it's hard to eat this way. I mean, you have your list of foods that you can eat. I would say maybe the hardest part is not being able to eat all of the other things that we we were able to enjoy for most of our lives. So letting go is really, really difficult. But once you feel the phenomenal transformative health benefits of this way of eating, of like returning back to our roots, it's totally worth it to give up the things that make us sick. Okie dokie, I have cracked the eggs just because I figured it'd be easier to film and so soup is kind of almost reached a super hot point, not yet boiling. I'm going to drop these eggs in there and I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to let the eggs kind of heat up a bit before I start mixing with my spoon. Um, so I'll be right back. It's mixing time. I try to break the yolks. Just a bit. It's hard to find them in there sometimes. I'm not gonna add any soup because I already added soup when I was um, slow cooking 
sorry, I already added salt when I was slow cooking the soup, so it's salty enough. And now I'm just gonna wait for it to get a little bit more hot and then I'm gonna drop the shrimp in there and they're kind of gonna rapidly boil. Kind of like a hot pot. Okie dokie, time for shrimp. Whoop. Perfect. And now I'm gonna mix up a bit and just let this all cook together in there. All right, guys, the shrimp is pink. The soup is ready. Let's go. I'm gonna transfer this over to a bowl. The egg is cooked. Oh my word, that looks amazing. So beautiful. Chicken broth with eggs and shrimp. Keep in mind, you can diversify and add whatever you want. The broth is the base. I always add eggs, but you could do ground beef. You could do brisket. Get creative, have fun with it. Wanna know the perks of being the chef? Stealing shrimp from people's bowls. Hello. What's this? Custardo. A custard. We're having a little snack snack sharing this beautiful custard between the two of us. If you guys have not seen my egg custard recipe, go ahead, dive in. Um, I'll put it in the description below. Let's see, how does it taste? We did not chill it because we can't wait. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, so we had a bit of an early lunch, the soup, sharing this custard, and then we'll meet back with you guys later for Din Din around 7 mm. o'clock. Ooh! <laughs> almost done we were just talking about how it tastes like flan yep you guys know what that is um that texture there. yeah it's like this is such a cool texture and it's animal based like come on can you ask for more good evening everyone it's dinner time so what we're gonna be having for dinner today is one of my favorites it's been a game changer because you could just spice it up and each time it's different um, that's the meter bowl. So usually I use usually I use um, ground beef or ground lamb. Today we're gonna do some grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef as the base. Um, what else am I adding? Some raw halloumi cheese. Halloumi cheese is the cheese that you fry. It's freaking amazing. It's like crispy on the outside and soft on the inside some wild caught shrimp, eggs, and some salt. So delicious. Um, I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple of variations of bowls, but for tonight, we're gonna just do this one. Oh, and actually bone marrow as well. I'm gonna roast some bone marrow right now, pop that in the oven. Let's get started on making dinner. Two bone marrow canoes going right in the oven at 400 degrees. Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Let's go. Okay guys, so that's our dinner. I'm just gonna pour the remainder in here of the bone marrow that kind of leaked in the pan. This is gonna be an amazing dinner full of all the nutrients that we need. You got bone marrow, shrimp, egg yolk, 
halloumi cheese, grass-fed ground beef. It's all in this meal, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think. If you like these What I Eat in a Day videos, should I keep going? And enjoy the other two videos on the screen. Take care, guys.